What's up, y'all? I'm at the crib, and I thought I'd just uh, give a little brief introduction to um, this gin sword that I've had for probably about a good two years now. Um, I'll have to look up later where it comes from. I want to say it's uh, from Iron Forge, I believe, and that this is like the. Uh, I want to say that this is like the Yin Yang gin. <coughs> And, you know, um, even though I've never practiced Chinese martial arts directly, you know, under the guise of, you know, a Shurfu or a Sifu or whatnot, um, I'm very familiar with very different styles of um, Gong Fu. And to prove my point, or it, whether, you know, mofos out there doubt me, the fact that I know of Wu Tzu Twin, Five Ancestors Fist, uh, you know, even though I'm a Filipino um, specialist, the fact that I know... Um, you know, the difference between Northern Shaolin, Southern Shaolin, and, you know, which styles those come from, whether, you know, you got five ancestors fish, you got a uh, Mizong twin, you got uh, Northern Praying Mantis, Southern Praying Mantis, which is something that, you know, I low-key practice on the side. I think I told y'all that, um, um, you know, indirectly practice, um, Southern praying mantis. What else? Uh, Tong Bay. You know, Shui Jiao. Uh, like I, I could go on <laughs> as far as uh, Chinese style, different. You know, Chinese uh, kung fu styles that are at the very least I'm familiar with, and that's just the Shaolin styles. Let alone, you know. Yeah, uh, Baji Twin. But, no rambling. Let me go and pull this thing out. Give me a minute. Yeah, this damn thing. Kind of, uh... kind of loose here that's what y'all probably heard this thing here is a uh, loose right there I'm gonna have to probably glue that on or something do something with it but um as far as the gin goes you know you know with me being like I said a Kali as well as a Kenjutsu practitioner um I think this gin you know holds up I've I've collected gins in the past um, and I've been very disappointed by them you know I had traditional Filipino weapons uh, gin back in Memphis it was too heavy I think this one's pretty heavy but then again it's a it's a one-handed sword so I think this is probably as good as it's gonna get and as sharp as it is it's not what I would consider razor sharp now don't get me wrong it can definitely you know I've I failed um, tree limbs with it. It can definitely cause a nasty laceration, but I don't think gin swords are um, meant, you know, so much for slashing anyway, as much as they are for, you know, the thrust swords, kind of like, you know, kind of like rapiers. Because, you know, rapiers aren't, you know, they're definitely meant to, you know, cause cuts, like the, the make cuts and lacerations and whatnot, but, you know, just killer cuts, like, unless it's, you know, across some sort of vital artery, you know, it's very unlikely that you're going to kill someone immediately anyway, you know, you know, you know, there's always, you know, the wrist area, you know, where, you, know you cut veins and arteries, but, you know, they're not going to bleed out immediately. So, you know, with um, a fencing sword like this, it's more, it's more so for, um, you know, thrusting than it is cutting, whereas, um, you know, with katanas, you know, the thrust and slash swords, most people emphasize you know slashing that's probably one of the reasons why you know in my um kenjutsu practice i know i'm no i'm kind of rambling but you know in kenjutsu practice i i look for stabbing thrusting opportunities as well as you know slashing because you know kenjutsu tends to overemphasize slashing techniques where as i imagine with you know the gin it probably overemphasizes you know thrusting because you know with a blade like this which is more than capable of cutting even with that said I seriously doubt it can cause 
as much damage as, say, a katana. Yeah. Maybe, maybe with the right kind of momentum, maybe with the right kind of force, it can. You can probably slash it across somebody's guts and maybe, you know, you know, cause some sort of damage. But as nearly as much as what you could with a katana, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, I think they're just laceration blades more like more so than just cutting blades, like what you will find, you know, among the um, Japanese and Filipino cutlery. So, like I said, yeah, this is just my brief introduction to the Iron Forge uh, In Yangjin. This should be the In Yangjin. I know, and most people pronounce it as Yin Yang, but it's you know as a form a student of Chinese, I'm obliged to say in yang. Just like if it were Japanese, I would say in yo, but you know, that's neither here nor there. So catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.